Previously on Heavy Rain. Are you alright? Bump the crowbar now, bow to me! Are we partners? Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. Caution. Risk of electric shock. <laughs> Do not touch. No! Hey guys, it's Warrior Chicken. Welcome back to I Heavy Rain. It. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh no? Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! It does look like he's killed people before, though. I wonder what his crime was that got him in prison in the first place. Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother's here. She'd like to speak with you. Oh, we haven't seen her in a while. Miss Grace? It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. Oh, no! Something. Something in his eyes. As if... It I don't like what you're doing, Grace. There may be no connection. The next day, there was that announcement about another victim. You're really gonna do your ex-husband like that? Find my son. I'm begging you. What a bitch. Man, poor Ethan. I feel so bad for the guy. So a wife's turning on him. Blake, or ex-wife. Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Oh, this is so illegal. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn oh, I can move. bullshit oath. Uh, it's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. I'm sorry, I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate for your own sake. I know you don't want to protect the murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest This is so take... awkward. Sean Mars's life may depend on what you know. Tell us what you know, Doctor. I am going to call the police and oh shit, that didn't work. How rude! Doctor, All right, Blake, go to town. Pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So you're gonna actually, I don't even know whose side I'm on. I want to know. Who right. do I care about? Gonna lose my temper. He's right. Legally, let go. You gotta tell us what you know. You, you have no right. Okay, actually, I don't think I should be letting him touch him, because that could get us into trouble. Oh, too late. I think I made the wrong decision. Hopefully that doesn't backfire. Maybe Blake will like me better. Okay, nope. Hands off! Hands off! Oh, I should have acted sooner. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. Okay. I gotta interfere. Let me interfere! Doctor, a child's life. No, I didn't mean to help Blake. You know something that could help us. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Ooh. There. What's up with you, Norm? Are you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. 
There we go. Sorry, I want I want Jaden to have like a good timeline, you know? I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. He feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Oh no! Oh no, it's over. Oh my god, Ethan's gonna be framed! I already know it! Shit. Good cop. See, that's <laughs> that's exactly what I was going for. I'm trying to give Jaden a good timeline because... You know, I want all the characters, if I'm in control of them, I, it, it goes by my Ash, rules. I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminal. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. I hate how they say origami. I don't know if that's the right way, but it just- it doesn't sound right. <laughs> Got nice eyes, you know, I gotta say. Love looking at those dreamy eyes. Oh, we're playing golf! I've been playing Wii Golf recently. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm ready for this. You're not Shelby. Mmm, there's my man. Oh, I got a band-aid! Got a little beaten up from, uh, was it Gordy Kramer's? Oh, hello. Cute little date idea. Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? That's cute. Get her, boy. Alright. I'm assuming I need to go... This dude. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Yes. Oh, no thanks. Okay, nope. I Do you play? Had too much today. I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. All right, Shelby, why are you so worked up, man? Let's go play some golf. Oh god, I'm gonna totally screw this up. Okay. The balls are in that basket. God, this is much harder than taking care of a baby. What the heck? <laughs> All right, let's let's get a hole in one. Let's see how good uh. My PlayStation the most golfing thing skills are. Is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Ah, nice and slowly. Takes precision and patience and skill. Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. Does it actually detect that in the controller, though? All right, well, who is this guy? Why am I golfing with him? I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. Kramer! I hear you've been asking questions about my son. Uh-oh. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. Are we just gonna golf while we talk about this? Yes, so. Well, your son really is, um, really is a character, Mr. Kramer. There, I think I, I think I did that one a little harder. Oh, yes! Look at that. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. How would you know? Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. Very true. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. What him. about you, Mr. Kramer? Oh, come on. I want to all due respect, Mr. Kramer. Want to interrogate. It's up to me to decide who I want to Not play golf. 
All right, well, <laughs> this is so weird. Let's knock her out of the park. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby. Oh, here we go. I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. I play golf. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Gordy was such a creepy dude, but I don't think he's the origami killer because he's sitting there and he's like, Yes, I drop my victims in rainwater and I put an orchid in their hand on their chest. I am the origami killer. Like, he's, he's definitely not. Like, he's... I would have just taken the bribe, to be honest, you know? Maybe use it towards some golfing lessons. Oh, no. I'm scared. Where is Ethan? And I know. I know where Ethan's fate lies. We have every cop in the city on our butts. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, gosh. Those inches are just getting higher. Oh, oh no, Ethan, I'm so sorry. Your wife, your ex-wife did you dirty like this. Oh, wait, are we at our next trial? How long has it been since we've been home? Yeah, if all the cops are going to Ethan's house, like, they're not going to fucking find him. He's at the motel. I don't know what I'm worried about. Oh, God, this is definitely our next trial. Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat up stuff. A lizard. The last one was a butterfly. I don't know what the other one was, but I'm assuming this is... I don't know. This one's gonna have a bunch of lizards I'm gonna have to follow. This is so strange. What the heck? I don't remember what the first one was, but I guess like each trial is like, symbolized by an animal. Oh, do I gotta, like, take one of these and break the door open with it? Oh, there's a key in one of them! I see. I think. I'm assuming that's what it is. I have to shake them all. Okay. I see how it goes. This isn't too hard. This is an innocent, fun little puzzle. Unless if there's, like, a gun in here. No, there wouldn't be a gun. A gun isn't that shape. Then you never know. Maybe it's like a rope, and I'm gonna have to like choke myself with it, unconscious. Oh god. You know what, I'm just, ugh. I don't want to think about it. I swear, I did not hear any audio cues at all. Do I just have to break them all? <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna break all the lizards in here. Oh my god, I feel like I just committed lizard genocide. I think I smashed every single one of them except one. But you know what? I'm okay with it. I hope the origami killer spent a lot of money on all these lizards and I just broke them all. Porcelain lizards. That's gotta cost a bit. Right? Oh god, this is dingy! Ew. How is this place still standing? What's that look, Ethan? Oh. Can I break that too? Wanna watch a nice wildlife documentary on lizards? Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. What? If you succeed, you will get your reward. Five minutes! Holy fuck! Am I actually doing this? 
Wait, 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 wait. I have to go through with it. I have no choice, for Sean's sake. Oh my god. Gotta disinfect the wound, if I want to have a chance of surviving. Um, okay. We'll take that. Um, oh my god, wait. So am I collecting, like... Okay, that looks like alcohol, so that could be a disinfectant, right? Oh my god, why am I doing this? There's nothing in that room. Is there anything else? Is that the only thing in this room? Wait, there's gotta be more in here then. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, we got a knife, we got alcohol. Why am- why- okay, I need to think logically about this. I'm really trying, guys, or else I'm gonna start freaking out. You have four minutes and 30 seconds. Shut up, bitch! I'm cutting off a finger! I'm gonna need more time than that! Okay, I'm gonna need something... Like a band-aid? Is there no- there was a bathroom, but there's nothing in it. Oh my god, guys, can you just tell I'm panicking? What the hell is that? There's something I can do with this? Oh my god. There's gotta be some- there we go, there's a cap- oh my god. I have to just change the camera angles. There's gotta be something in this little drawer here, right? Nothing? Seriously? Nothing? Oh, there's an axe on the floor. We're not doing it with a fucking axe. We're gonna do this the right way. The... With the knife. Um, okay, you I'll just put that on the table. Left. I feel like I'm supposed to do something with that. Yeah, it keeps telling me to pick it up. There's something I have to do with this! But what's that? Where are you looking, Ethan? I don't know where that is! Oh, in here! Oh, we're cauterizing the wound! This is smart. Okay. We got a knife. We got disinfectant. And we have this really hot thing. Just no band-aids, which kind of sucks. Okay, I think we could do it like this, right? I think I looked everywhere I could. Did I, though? Okay, I'm not cutting my finger off with pliers. Are you crazy? Okay, so... You have three minutes and 30 seconds left. See, I can't go in there! Why didn't that come up before? Okay, that's gotta be the disinfectant. That's the proper disinfectant. Okay, so... Are we good to go then? I just feel like the one thing we need is band-aids. Okay, that's a saw as well. We're not cutting off our finger with a saw. Scissors! It's- oh my god. No, we don't need that. Oh my god, okay, I, th I literally think we wiped this place clean of everything, so... Oh god, I'm gonna literally faint. Let's start with that. Uh... You have three minutes. No, don't pour it all! We need some for later! Oh, god. I don't think I was supposed to use that first. It's okay, though, because we have alcohol! Oh, man, it's gonna hurt. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my... <laughs> okay. Okay. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath, man. Deep breath. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? You feel okay, Ethan? Do it! Okay. You know what? I needed those deep, deep breaths too. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no. Oh, poor guy. 
Ethan, it's okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my god, it's not okay. Poor guy just called me. Okay, at least it wasn't the whole finger. It was just the last section. Oh man, it's gonna hurt even more. If only that bitch Grace knew exactly what I was going through for this. What a fucking bitch. I wish I could cut off her finger. Okay. Now I think we can disinfect it again, right? Under the desk. Okay, Ethan, calm down. It's just one section of your finger. <laughs> it's okay. God, this is really making me uncomfortable. Like, I feel like I'm at a hospital, and I'm literally just watching someone just, like, <laughs> sitting there with a broken finger, and I'm just like... It's okay. Oh, Sean. Oh my god, kid looks like he's gonna drown before I finish these fucking trials. What the hell? A52. Yeah, Roosevelt! Okay, that is so easy. We, we've got to be able to find it through that. That's it. I'm not completing any more goddamn trials. That was it. That was, that was literally it. We've done it. It's fine. Why was it called the lizard, though? Do lizards, like, regenerate fingers? I don't know. I just think that's a very strange... Thing to name a trial after this. Alright guys, that was very uncomfortable, very gruesome. Just overall not a good episode. All my mans are going after Ethan, and I just- I'm, Ethan's cutting off his fingers for everyone, and no one fucking appreciates it. So, I'm gonna end the episode off here, and we'll pick up here in the next episode. Bye!